All right, guys, back out in the shop. Uh, don't mind the noise. I got the heater on because it's uh, cold. Well, what you see right there is a pile of shit I uh, took out of the car. That's quite a bit of junk, quite a bit of weight. And, uh, you know, just this junk shit we don't need in there anymore. So I, I ripped all that stuff out. Got the cage started. Got a mess of wires I got to go through when, it, when I put the new dash in. Uh, so, yeah. I got uh, the main hoop is in. Uh, seat belt bar, the crossbar right here is in. That uh, I got the you know the main uh, halo hoop in, and then that down bar, a pillar bars in and welded. I'm starting on uh, that door bar right there, and I'm working on putting this a pillar bar in as well. Um, got the heads back from the machine shop. My dad got them painted up, but I got I got to put them back in the parts washer, to, you know, just to give them a one final rinse. So hopefully you don't rip off the new paint. You probably will, but oh well. Got the new valves, and uh, yeah, yeah, this one's easier. Uh, new valves, and springs, not new valves, give me new springs and keepers. Got new springs and retainers. Got them all put in and the valve job done. Uh, so yeah, she's all in there nice, good, ready to go. Got the down bar in here, got it trimmed up. I bought a cheaper kit, so you gotta notch a lot of the tubes yourself. So I'm uh, gonna fish mouth this one right here. So that's what I'm working on, guys. Ordering some custom cams for it, okay? Uh, these sons of bitches are expenses for these four valves. It's just absolutely ridiculous. You know, you're looking at $1,350. You know, between $1,300 and $1,400, depending on where you get them from. I'm gonna go with uh, NASVT. Does a pretty good job on them cams, and uh, then we'll uh, send him our specs, and he'll uh, spec us a cam, and we'll get them coming. Uh, when we get them, We'll uh, throw the heads on, get them cleaned up, put the heads on, torque them all down, put the cams in there, get all the chains and tensioners on it, and uh, you know have it ready to go. Got to get an intake. Um, I'm gonna go with the Wilson, uh, not Wilson, a Sullivan uh, lower intake manifold, and likely I'm gonna go probably with an elbow, a 90 degree elbow upper intake. Or plan, whatever you want to call it, plenum. Not sure whose, but somebody's will get it, you know. Uh, and then we will have to change up the inlet pipe there, that big pipe coming through. Instead of going, you know, to the the right side of the engine like it does on them, on these intakes right there. Speaking of that, that's for sale. 04 uh, Mach 1 upper and lower intake manifold, power coated, uh, Ford Blue. If anybody's interested, hit me up in the comments. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, we're back out here working on the car. It's been a little minute since I made a video. Been getting a lot of work done. Uh, first things first, got the cage in there. Um, I, don't I can't quite get over there. I got the welder and shit in the way, but you can see it. A 10 pointer, got it all welded in there. Just gotta clean it up, paint it, and that'll be finished. But it's completely welded, all good to go. What I'm doing right now is the interior was that. Uh, I don't know if I got a piece. Oh yeah, I guess that. Yeah. Oh, I guess right there. That color. The interior was that color. I don't know what the hell they call it. Whatever that color is, and uh, I'm painting them black. So uh, I got one more coat to do on this. And what I'm using is this shit right here. This is the best shit I've come across. I've tried a couple others, and they. Had streaking and zebra looking shit. Um, but this uh, SEM or SEM color coat. And then if you want black, you know, get the 15 or 150, 13, uh, Lendow black. Uh, this shit works wonders. You also gotta get 
if you're doing vinyl or plastic, depending on what you're doing. Um, this is a plastic and leather prep. You, you know, you spray it on here and it cleans and uh, kind of preps the plastic to uh, help the paint adhere and does a really good. I got quite a bit of uh, shit welded or welded painted, excuse me. Um, get the carpet and shit out. I got the dash temporary. Um, I think I put in the last video, but we I got a carbon or a carbon fiber, a fiberglass dash to get rid of uh, the heavy ass factory one. And I got it temporarily mocked up in there. Um, right there, we will have a tablet that we'll run our gauges off of. Um, or, or some of the gauges, you know, that we can use to do that. And then uh, the other gauges that were in the A-pillar pod are now going to go boom, boom. And then there, um, in there, we got a switch panel that'll be going in there. Um, got the aftermarket column, wheel with the trains brake and bump button on there. I uh, got that shit mocked up. Uh, it's a mess right now. I got to go through and and reroute all that gauge wiring up through the dash and into there, make it look nice. Bought some connectors and pins so I can cut them because right now them are hardwired and I should have did this originally, but I didn't. So I got to cut them and put a connector in line so that if I ever got to take the dash out for whatever reason, just disconnect a, uh, a couple connectors and, and take it out, no big deal. Heard uh, a set of cams for the motor. Um, $1,450 yeah, $1, later, we'll have some cams. I just ordered them yesterday and uh, the guy said two to four weeks on them. So hopefully we'll get them uh, sooner rather than later. All right, guys, so uh, uh, I ended up going with uh, the uh, the cams came from uh, Todd Warren, which is also known as NASVT online. Uh, if you're in the four valve or modular community, you know, he, he uh, specs some sweet cams. And uh, so, yeah, I went, I went ahead with him and then he's going to, I gave him all the specs on the car and then what we're trying to do with it. And he uh, put some... Uh, cam specs together and then I'm not sure if he uses comp cams or bullet cams to grind the cams but uh I'll find out when I get them either way it doesn't matter to me but uh so yeah got them on order they'll be coming um I ain't trying to think what else oh I'll be getting a uh hopefully sometime soon um a Hamilton uh, single plane intake man Hamilton. I'm messing up today guys I can't think Sullivan damn can't even think a Sullivan uh, single plane intake manifold and fuel rails um, we'll be getting them too we'll have to uh, do some adjusting on the uh, boost pipes to because uh, it's probably gonna be a, or it is gonna be a front um, front end entry uh, into the intake manifold instead of the side like the, the stock um, intake does, you know. So anyways, that's what we got going on right now. Um, I'm trying to think what we're... Uh, I mean, I got a lot of shit I can do. Like I said, I got to finish up the dash and the steering wheel, column, get that all the way mounted. I got it temporary, kind of mounted in there now. Um, I need to finish painting. Uh finish painting the so yeah f finish painting the interior parts get them all nice and black get rid of that ugly ass I don't know what they Ford called it but black in my opinion looks a whole lot better so um, so yeah I gotta paint these pieces and then I can put this door panel back on um, so let's go ahead and get these painted all right guys got them painted sitting there drying and then I got the, the I put the door panel on and uh, yeah. so just wait from the dry and I can put the couple of these uh, trim panels back on and then we got new carpet new black carpet going in once I get everything finished up there I can put the carpet in and uh, yeah get that 
at least get the heads bolted down, torqued down, and then when the cams come in, we can uh, degree the cams in and and be good to go there. Um, so yeah, but I'm gonna call it for now. That's where we're that's where we're at, guys. Uh, we got quite a bit of stuff done. Uh, got the cage knocked out. That was a big part of it, but uh, still got a ton of stuff to do. So, but um, yeah. Just uh, stay tuned for some more videos. I'm going to try to get, get uh, post a little more often than I do. But uh, sometimes I just forget to pick up a camera and I just start get to get to working. And next thing you know, the stuff's all finished and I haven't got any videos. So. But I appreciate it, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.